My name is Dennis Buznitz. Nestor Judkins. Magnus Bordewick. Nora Vasconcelos. Dennis Durant. Tom Snow. Jack Fardell. Diego Najera. My name is Daywan. I was born in Newton, Kansas, USA. I used to live in San Francisco. I live in Sebastopol, California. I was born in El Centro, California. I'm living in uh, Los Angeles, California. From Oslo, Norway. Uh, I was born near San Jose, California, and I live in New York City now. Uh, I was born in the UK, but grew up in New Zealand. It's, uh, I would say, though, I'm, I'm from New Zealand because that's where I grew up, and that's what made me New Zealand. <laughs> I'm from Pembroke, Massachusetts, but I live in Oceanside, California now. I was born in Queanbeyan, Australia, and I live in Los Angeles. I was born in Australia, a town called Gladstone, and I live in Brisbane now. Born in Seoul, and I left here when I was about one and a half, uh, and then I went to Gardena, California, which is like the suburbs of LA, when I was about, you know, three. In between that, I went to Hawaii at some point, so. But Seoul is where I was born, so. It was really good. Skate energy was, everyone killed it. Everyone skated really good. The uh, obstacle that day one designed was really fun, and uh, which I knew it would be. I was waiting to see what he came up with. But particularly this demo in Seoul, like the location was really good. And there was a huge big screen TV, which I'd never seen before. So that was a lot of energy going on for sure. Like, like the demo that, I mean, you know, you got people like Boosnitz and Day One, like skating all those crazy obstacles. And like, I don't know, they, they're good at that shit, you know? So like, it was a good demo. There was like lots of people turned up. And there was a big TV screen that you could see from down the street with the, with the demo playing above so yeah I think that was like you know that was they put on a lot for that demo you know more than you know just the usual so I think it was a pretty good turnout you know and it's kind of like everywhere I've been for the past other uh, skate copas it's for sure something completely different in an environment than any other one that I've been just a very very uh, uh, very polite and respectful and and I just everyone out here in in, in, uh, in Seoul is just has that has that good energy in them you know and uh and it brought that out while i was out there you know seeing the kids on my boards like someplace so far you know and and where they say that the skate scene isn't as big as well in my opinion as i imagine um just with spots and like the culture around here like um but you know it's just it was a great Great experience, and uh, you know, I, I enjoyed every bit of it. Yeah. Whenever you go to those things, it's just like, it's like a demo, you know. I personally get pretty nervous at demos, so like, I don't see what, everything else going on, but I just hear people screaming and stuff, and like, I don't know what other people are doing, like, what tricks, and so, and then you watch the video at the end, and then you see like, oh, what the hell? Now I know why everyone's screaming and all that, you know. But um, it's cool, man. It's always like. Everyone's always hyped and stuff, like the crowd, they always love it, so, yeah, it's good. It's always a good time. It's amazing. The people, everybody, I mean, you had people from, everything from, you know, people off the street that are interested, which is great because that's what, Korea needs that. And Korea needs some of the people that don't know about skateboarding to see something that's so amazing and see these kids and how passionate they are about it. And I feel like parents can see that, spread the word, because I think Korea needs, we need, more positivity about skateboarding here. They don't understand how positive it is as something for a kid to do. Cause you know, Koreans, you know, we, even when, when I was growing up, my parents did not allow me to skateboard. My mom bought me one board and when I lost it, she was relieved, you know? But when my mom and dad separated, that's when I was able to skateboard. And it's crazy if, if they never, it's sad because if they never separated, I wouldn't have skateboarded. But so I'm like, kind of like, okay, but no, you know, but no, nobody wants that. But, um. It just brings everybody together, you know, the energy and all seeing all the new girls that are skateboarding too at this event, seeing all the kids and how insane and the progression growing and growing from the last time I was here. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And for me, being from Korea and wanting to see the Korea and the community rise with skateboarding and 
us to like get to another level so that you know we can have people at the Olympics and we can actually compete would be great you know so <laughs> when I first saw Daywon's obstacle I was kind of scared of it it was definitely very day one. Um, I've seen him set up a very similar thing to skate before, so it was really wild to see that. Um, and I was definitely more excited to, to see him and some of the guys skate it, but I just wanted to like go over it somehow. I didn't really know what it was going to be like until we got to the, to uh, kind of like the park and the setup, but yeah, just to do anything on it, I didn't really have something in my mind specifically, but they killed it. <laughs> Well, I saw the drawings before, and uh, when I saw it in person, it was much bigger than I expected. I thought it would be kind of small. I wanted to grind up and down the little the handrail, the super steep handrail, or a pole jam bar. That uh, was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Getting getting speed for it was a little bit difficult, and then it just seemed too dangerous. And I got scared. And there was other stuff to skate, so I just did that. The first time I thought, saw it, I thought, like, oh, that's going to be hard to skate, you know? I actually thought I was just going to be skating the, around on the ledges, you know? But I um, ended up getting a little 50 there. We saw it on, the, on a photo before we got to the demo, so... It looked really cool, looked fun, it looked like uh, there was a lot of options and a lot of possibilities and then when we got there it was a lot more skatable than I thought we th than, uh, than we thought it would be. I didn't have uh, any ideas of what I wanted to try but just to skate the rail part you know because it's not every day you get to skate something like a quarter pipe with a rail stuck to the side so before we got to the demo I didn't think it was gonna I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to skate so I just wanted to do like a, a front side ollie high and grind down you know and so I, we did that, I did that, and then there was, it was more friendly and skatable than I thought it would be, so we just kept trying the tricks and kept doing tricks, and I knew day one was going to do the fakie 5-0 down and the blunt fakie 5-0, which is insane, that's like his trick, so it was really cool to see him do that, and yeah, and then we just skated it, had a session, it was fun. When I seen the Blackbird obstacle, they did an amazing job here on it. The only problem was is that I heard that uh, the city, they, uh, they made them push the barriers in a little bit. So you're, the lack of, it was hard for me to get speed um, to the, because there was so many things I wanted to do. I wanted to ollie up and grind it. I was, in my head, I was thinking I could grind up to a blunt or a rock fakie, but I couldn't get the corner. One time I went in the corner and I tried to hug it and I hit it and just fell. It was super embarrassing. <laughs> Skateboarding is based all around failure to build you to a point where you finally succeed. And that just makes you a better person, I think. And it keeps, makes you, it takes you to a different level in your mind and it builds character. So I think that it's, for me, it's beautiful to see this, this in Korea and to see these kids progress. And I can't wait to see how far Koreans can get in skateboarding and see all the new pros that come out of Korea. Because, you know, right now there's Korean pros U.S. Korean pros is, there used to be a couple, but a lot of them quit or they don't do it anymore. And I want to, you know, it'd be nice to have some company. <laughs> so when I got to, when I finally got to watch the locals come and skate and compete, it was great because I seen a lot of passion and I seen a lot of talent within all the kids here. And uh, some of the standout ones were the kid went off the back of the quarter pipe and he nollie flipped out of that into the Euro gap on the bank. And that's like, for anybody going out of that train, it just doesn't work. But in his mind, he was thinking it'll work for him and he made it happen. Then uh, the little girl kick flipped up the Euro and the Euro was hard to get speed and it's pretty high. And the little girl was this big. So it was half her size. And that was amazing. And um, seeing one guy do kickflip Manny and trying to kickflip him, he had good balance. And then a lot of tranny skaters doing the tail blocks and bonuses over everything. and. Uh, you know, and then there was, I mean, there was a lot of good skating out there. Hard flip, Jason did the hard flip and stuff like that. So, you know, it was good to see a lot of talent out there. And all I can do is get better and better and better. But I think that um, it's important for people to know that like an event like this, 
I think it helps to build some sort of like motivation. It gives them like inspiration to be like, I want to keep doing it. That event was beautiful. It was amazing. And they leave so happy and pumped. They get to see skating. They get to be involved. They get to win money. And then they watch each other. I think that everybody can just push each other after an event like this. And then so the next time we come back, they're going to be four times better. You know what I mean? And that's what's beautiful about it. And I think that's the energy that you get from a skate couple court is that it's involving yourself, being with the people and involving the people and coming all together and to say that we're all family and then we can enjoy an event like this. And that's what, you know, you take it to all these different places and you just come together. It's not like, oh, everybody sit back, we do a demo and then we leave. This is like, we're all family. So I think it's a really great thing, great event. I feel like everyone has seen a video I did about a how to kickflip. Like everybody is always like, hey, I see your video. Like everybody, it's always, they never seen anything else, I don't think, but <laughs> just the kickflip. But um, yeah, it's pretty funny to me. There's a guy I follow who like, I like watch his skating and we're Instagram friends and it was really cool to meet him. And then um, just so many, like there was a whole crew of girls who were there who were really stoked. And that was really cool to see. And one of the girls had drawn a portrait of myself on her iPad. And she sent that to me like a couple of months ago. And I just had no idea she was, she was from here. So that was like really cool to see her. And she had her iPad out and we were drawing on it and stuff. So yeah, I, I love that type of thing. The kids were all super, super stoked. My favorite was the guy who did, there was like, um, like where there was the kicker and then the quarter pipe over here and he ollied over to back tail. And that was that was definitely my favorite thing that I saw. Like, I mean, like all the kids were like killing. Oh, and the little little kid doing the blunt kick flips on the tranny as well. Yeah, like that was that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, definitely those two for sure. The, at the event, there was this little kid. He seemed probably like ten years old, maybe nine years old or something. And he was pretty impressive. He did like a a blunt kick flip on a on a quarter pipe, and uh, didn't really skate like a little kid. And, uh, Pretty cool to see. A fan? No, a lot of selfies. I don't know, none of them stood out in particular. The people were really into taking the selfie thing. And I've not really had that experience before, you know, come to a demo and like people are you know, going crazy. There were tons of fans for me, you know, and still and forever I'll be like excited seeing it, you know, and it gets me stoked because I was once a kid, you know, who who when I'm here skating with people I looked up to while they're looking up to all of us together, you know, in the same same place, you know, like, you know, day one, Dennis, like, you know, the names go on, you know, especially those two, like, some big ones for me, you know, myself. And I can only imagine the way that they, that they were looking at it. And for me to be in that position, for them, as I'm someone they look up to as well, uh, it, it gives it's touching, you know. It's very touching, and I I, I appreciate it. And uh, and yeah, it's just it was sick seeing them with my my, my boards and stuff, you know. Like, Here, sign this, sign that. Like I always love that, you know. I love to give back as well. Somebody doesn't have to be good for me to be impressed by them. I see passion. I'm impressed by passion. I'm impressed by the desire and willing to try something even though you know sometimes that you're not you don't even know what you're doing you know like a kid thinking hey i seen kids going back and forth and this, just going for it they as soon as the contest started and it was like go and get it they get like Rah! the monster comes out and they just want it flying over each other smashing into each other this is like their passion and desire to do it and i mean this right here is building character they're becoming like it makes you like, in a, the best way, because aggressiveness, like when you think of aggressive, you think that that can be negative, like being too aggressive. But I think that skateboarding makes you in a, a good sense aggressive. Like when you want something, you have to just try and get it, you know? And watching them just going for it, and some of the guys look like they don't even know what they're doing. They're just out there. That right there impresses me because they want it that bad. It's like, I mean, I, I used to be good at swimming, and I just went to this river and I went swimming and 
I was terrible now. I forgot. And, you know, but I still was trying to pretend I'm good. Like, oh, and I was doggy paddling and not telling people I was tired, but I felt like I was going to drown and I was telling the boat, go. <laughs> but I didn't want to do it. And they were thinking in their mind, like, hey, he's, he likes to swim, a lot of passion, you know? But I was just like, oh, I want to get on the boat, I'm tired. But I'm just saying, like, these kids put that effort out there because they want to prove themselves. And you don't always have to like be good to prove yourself. I think that when you, as long as you're trying, that's what puts you above everybody. It's just trying. All these people, they see people that are good, but yeah, they've had years of experience. They've been on their board forever. Then you got people who just started and then you got people that want to make fun of them for just starting. Yet they have no right to say anything negative about them because these they just started. I'd like to see that same person go in you know, run the 100 meter. They probably can't even run, but they're gonna sit here and talk. You, get, you have to respect all the new kids that are trying. And that's the only thing that's gonna push them. If you sit there and, you know, like you just have to respect everyone. People who started, people who've been there, and people who are like veterans in the game that aren't as good as they used to be because everybody gets older too, but it's all respect level. And this is what builds our book of skateboarding the new, the old, what's in between. And then now it's just like, we're building such a huge circle, it's just all over the place. And that's what we wanna do for skateboarding. I wanna just make it huge, you know? So, and to be good. <laughs> Got to eat a lot of good uh, food, Korean barbecue. I feel like in Tokyo, it's like, you, any spot you go to, you get uh, two tries, and here it's no bust and it's kind of nice to eat a little bit. Uh, uh, the food here is a little bit more familiar to what uh, I'm used to eating, you know? Like in Japan, it's only sushi. It's good, but... Uh, you know. So far, being in Korea has been really amazing. I didn't know what to expect coming here, so I was like, I think I was uh, like happily surprised. Um, I love how green it is here, like the city, and then you have like so many kind of big cities and then you have like the trees and the hills and it's just really beautiful. Um, I was excited to go to the spot that we skated. I think it was the first day, which is the big bank, railing bank spot down um, kind of by the water. Uh, yeah, so that was cool because I've seen that in like videos. Um, but other than that, just, just going to the variety of spots and seeing the city and seeing all like the little nooks and crannies of it is, has been really, really cool. All the skaters we've seen seem to be very excited to have us visit, and that's nice. Um, all the spots we've gone to have been cool. Uh, we went to a DIY spot that was pretty crusty, but it was still, still had a good time. Eating good meals, staying at a nice hotel. Um, yeah, it's been a great trip so far. I know the people are friendly. Food's good. Um, the weather's the weather was good. I mean, I'm sure that's not all year round, but um, and like really good skate spots, like uh, the plaza we went to today, the like ledge spot by the train station. I think and that's like one of the best spots I've been to in a long time. Like, like if that was like back where I live, like that would be me every day, just like sitting there, like skating with my mates, I don't know, drink beers, kick it. It's like perfect spot, you know. So that was, I think that was my highlight of the trip, just skating that spot, you know. That disco surf, the night after, that was after we did the signing at the shop, that was pretty good, like, they definitely put on for us there. Had a good night. <laughs> yeah, my experience in Korea was really good. Uh, it's my second time here. So I remembered, you know, some things from the previous trip, but then did more, like got to see more things, got to try more types of food, skate new spots, met new people, and I think, yeah, the second time was better than the first. And I don't know, I'll come back as many times as I possibly can. Korea is always fun. I love coming to Korea. It's, uh, it's such a crazy city because it's so big, you know, I'm not used to, I'm from Australia where everything's kind of desolate and there's a lot of land and not a lot of buildings and sky rises but even just you look out your uh, hotel room window 
and it's just buildings everywhere, like high-rise apartments, and that's crazy to me, you know. So I, just, I love coming here. The people are always really friendly, and the food's always really good, and the spots, there's spots everywhere. You never get kicked out, so. I always have fun coming to Seoul, you know. I've been, this is my second trip, and we always have such a, a good crew with us. You know, we've got, booze, like, the first time we came, it was day one, Dennis, Silas, Jake, uh, Paul, me, uh, you know, I brought my wife the first time and then this time we've got all the new kids like uh, Diego and Magnus. Oh yeah, Durant was here last time as well and he's here again. So a lot of the same guys and then some of the new kids. So we're, and Nora's here and she hasn't been here before. So everyone's like really excited and yeah, we always have fun here. I love it. Like I said, the special thing I get to see here is just seeing Koreans, being in Korea with Koreans. It's like the closest thing I'm gonna to get to where I was born and to family. And so, for me being here, the minute I got off the airport and seen Korean writing, Korean stores, Korean drivers, hearing the language, that to me is just like, ah, uh, just makes me so happy. And uh, on top of that though, you know, all you guys, everybody who's been here helping and doing as much as they can to like make us feel comfortable. You guys go far and beyond, you know? and take us to all these spots and you know the, it's it's just been all positive this time you know and I've had some meltdowns like I've had my own negative moments on this trip but it's not because of anybody here it's it's me mentally because uh, you know my, for me and with travel when it's a lot of people it's sometimes hard for me to it's sometimes hard for me to work because I worry too much about oh, I don't know if they, they might want to leave and they look tired and I don't know if they want to be at this spot but I want to try something you know and I don't mean to be a negative like that. I want to just, I just want everybody to be happy, you know? And, uh, but that's the thing is, when we were skating and we were filming and all that stuff too, I was just looking around, I was like, wow, I'm just in Korea right now. And we're falling on the pipes. I'm like, oh, that's Korean pipe. <laughs> so Korean DIY, you know? And it's, uh, it just, you know, it makes me want to, tear up and think that this is where my parents, you know, they weren't, they were both born not far from Seoul and then they had me in Seoul and this is where it all started for me, was Seoul. It's where I was born and, you know, of course, I took off when I was young because my parents wanted to follow a dream and try to do something with it and that's where it all started. So when I come back to that, it's like, there's nothing better than that. It's to come back where you're, this is my roots. For sure, I will come back. It seems like there's small little spots to skate everywhere, and uh, just like walking from the hotel down to the restaurant that first day, we saw like maybe 10 spots in 100 meters, so I'll definitely come back. First off, it was amazing. I love Korea, but um, yeah, we just like kind of, it's been real mellow. We just went to like a couple skate spots, and we didn't really get to do any sightseeing so much, really. I want to come back. I want to come back on just like, just come back with a few homies and so we can actually just skate around, you know, and see more skate spots. I, I don't know too much areas in about Korea, but uh, from what I've experienced here in Seoul, I am definitely would like to come back. I definitely would like to come back because, I don't know, even that one spot I told you about with just that plaza with the ledges and the manual pad and, and you can go across the street, there's a double set, like, you know, there's like, it's just the good floors, like there's spots left to right, everywhere you go. I know I was seeing spots and I was like, yo, this, you know, definitely would like to come back and film some more, you know. Uh, unfortunately, there was, a, you know, a bit of, of a plan every day that we had, like, you know, had to do this, had to do that. But I'll, I look forward to coming back and actually having just a dedicated skate trip in Seoul, you know. I liked it out here. Filming in Korea has been really cool. I think um, if we had more time, it would be awesome. Um, and I know uh, it, it's hard on demo trips because it's like that's the priority. And, but it's been really good. I think we fit a lot in, especially with like how big our group is. Like we have four vans every day going out, so that's really awesome. And yeah, I would definitely come back. Um, I've had a few friends um, back home hit me up about it and they're like, how's Korea? How is it? Like, what's it like? And I'm just like, oh, I want to come back because 
yeah, there's so much to skate and everybody's pretty, um, it's like a very calm city, especially for how many people are here. I mean, you go to like a lot of other cities and it's just like more of a hustle and bustle, but here I think, you know, it's because there's just one giant city, it's spread out, it's just kind of like, it's just a different feel. It's very unique, similar to Japan, but just like a very unique feel. But yeah, I'd definitely come back to skate. Yeah, for sure, I would definitely come back. I mean, you can only do so much in a week, so we need to keep coming back and maybe there'll be new spots next year, you know? So, yeah, hopefully we get to come back and, I mean, we didn't get the chance to skate everything we wanted to skate, so there's always reason. I mean, filming in Korea has been amazing, you know? Of course, it's always tough. We got a, we got a lot of people, you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's really hard because there's only two filmers and there's about 12 guys. So if somebody's already caught up doing something, you gotta kinda wait, you know? So, but it's just, that's just the way it works and it's still fun to just watch everybody. I wanna come back here soon, maybe on a, maybe with just one friend and then a filmer on top of the filmers you have and maybe just work on an interview with you guys and just shoot strictly, like try to find these spots. You can tell me some spots that never been skated, I could try to skate. And then, you know, like the bank, we moved the grass, like, and we skated, that was fun. And I just want to do more of that, because it's all just, you know, just because, you know, I was born here, I left so early. And it took me so long to come back, last year. And then now I'm finally back. So that was just only a year I came, and just in a year I came back. But it needs to be sooner than that. It needs to be, I leave tomorrow, but I come back in two, three months, you know? So and stay longer, maybe a week or so, so. It's been amazing, really. It's, uh, like I said, this trip for me is, when I get a chance to come to Seoul, it's like a mandatory, like, I have to say yes. There's no way I can ever say, do you wanna go to Seoul? No, it's, you wanna go to Seoul? Come on, are you gonna ask me that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, it's been fun, and you know, like I said, I thank Adidas for getting me back here last year and then getting me back here again for the Skate Copa and the Skate Copa thing that they're doing. It's a really amazing thing for these people, the community, for all the places that we're visiting. I think that it's a bigger involvement with people and it's a movement, you know? So it's gonna be fun, right here.